Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to look at a brand new, totally unique geocaching type of game. What's up everybody? We're going to be reviewing Trail Hit Return of the Light. So, if you love geocaching, then you are going to love Trail Hit. Uh, it uses geocaching, but you won't find yourself trudging around in the bushes. The difference between Trail Hit and other geocaching games is that it comes with an extremely elaborate backstory. In short, the story goes like this. A long time ago, there was a super smart human civilization who constructed a device to harmonize the minds of all the creatures on the planet. This device created peace on Earth. But of course, there were aliens that were not happy with the progress that the humans achieved. The aliens wanted to control a device and to kill the group who constructed it, known as the Great 18 Group. The group found out about this and secretly constructed a new device called the Great Device. The Great Device was designed to protect itself, but it was never engaged. The aliens succeeded in killing off every group member and destroyed the first device. Luckily, the aliens don't know about the Great Device, and the only way to stop them is to activate it. And to find the device, we gotta hit the trails. Okay, so here's how the game works. In order to find the great device, you have to find 16 scrolls in total. Each scroll has 36 missing pieces. You find the missing pieces by going into the trails. On the map, you'll see where the boxes containing the pieces are located. Each box contains an item. Sometimes it's a missing piece of the scroll, sometimes it's gold, and sometimes it's a useless item, in which case it will disappear. Now, you don't always have to be outside to play this game. You'll notice on the main screen, there is an icon that says Shadowy Trails. This option is for when you're inside. I must say it's a little more tricky to find the boxes this way. Going into Shadowy Trails, you'll notice your view of the map is minimal. Here's a trick to finding the boxes. Move the red cursor in the shape of a square about 10 to 15 paces around. I noticed that once I found a box, as long as I move 10 to 15 paces forming the shape of a square, eventually I would see the distance meter start to increase. Uh, now, once you find 50 boxes in a row, the distance between boxes is drastically reduced. This way you don't have to tap the screen so often. Now, once all 36 pieces of a respective scroll are collected, it will activate. You can view your scroll completion progress in the scroll wheel screen. And here, you'll find the icons for all 16 scrolls. As you complete the scrolls, the scroll wheel will fill up. Once all 16 scrolls are activated, the scroll wheel will activate itself. Once the scroll wheel is activated, you will then be able to look for the great device. And the only way to find it is by hitting the trails again. Now, there are, however, other ways to acquire scroll, uh, sorry, scrolls and pieces for scrolls. You'll notice on the main screen, there's a trail market. In here, you can buy pieces of the scrolls that you don't already have. Uh, you can buy these pieces with the gold you find in the boxes on the trails. You can also sell duplicate pieces that you may have picked up along the way. Uh, going back to the main screen, you will also see the merchant icon. In here, you can purchase individual or all of the scrolls that you don't have for your scroll book. Now, you can purchase these scrolls with the crystals you find in the boxes. Oh, and if you need more gold, uh, you can purchase gold in here with crystals. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what the mystery icon is about, don't ask because I have absolutely no clue. And honestly, I actually can't wait to finish the game to find out what it is. Anyways, once you find the great device, you have to move close to it in order to activate it. As you move closer, it will ask you for an opening code. The code is a combination of riddles, which are hidden in each scroll. Now, as I go along and I started to complete the scrolls, I can't help thinking that the scrolls are starting to look like a QR code once completed. Uh, anyways, once you enter the code, that's it. You win. Uh, you've stopped the evil entities and you've saved the Earth from doom. 
So, would I recommend this game? Uh, uh, yes. This is unlike any game I have reviewed before. Not only does it get, out, get you off your butt, but it's addictive and entertaining as well. And if it's too wet or cold outside, you've got to love the shadowy trails option to play indoors. Now, the game is free in the Android market, and I will post a market link in the description below. So, if you're not already go doing so, grab your phone and download this game right away and go have some fun. But, do me a favor and pay attention to where you're going. I don't want to hear stories about how you found yourself lost in the woods for a week. Well, that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time everyone, the Smoke and Android, signing out.